This problem asks us to find the force on the current carrying wire in the figure. That force is equal to the current I times the length vector crossed into the magnetic field vector. On the figure, I'll show the three length vectors. I'll call them L1, L2, and L3 for each of the segments. With this, we can calculate the direction of the force on each segment. We just need the cross product of L into B. On the first and third segments, the length vector is to the right. The magnetic field is out of the screen, so the right-hand rule shows us the force is directed down along the negative y direction. And on the second segment in the middle, the length vector is straight up the screen, so the right-hand rule shows us that the force is directed to the right along the positive x direction. Now I'll come over here and calculate the force vectors. First on the two horizontal segments, I'll call that force 1, 3, the force on segments 1 and 3. That has a magnitude of the current times the sum of the two lengths times the magnetic field magnitude, and we know from the figure that that force is in the negative y direction. When we substitute values and calculate, we see that it equals negative 0.648 j hat newtons. The force on the middle segment, F2, is equal to I times L2 times B in the X direction. We can notice that L2 is half the sum of L1 and 3, so that force has half the magnitude, and it's in the X direction. If we now draw these two with a horizontal component and a vertical component, we can draw the force F and work out its magnitude and direction. The magnitude is calculated here using the Pythagorean theorem. It works out to 0 0.724 newtons. And finally, we can find the direction using the inverse tangent of the opposite side length divided by the adjacent side length. That ratio is 2, as we saw above, so theta turns out to be the inverse tangent of 2, which is 63.4 degrees.